have it. A couple of you raising your hand timidly. You should leave now, ma'am. <laughs> Guards. <laughs> no. No one can wield it except Thor. So surely you're thinking, how, as I've been wondering my whole life, how much his hammer weighs. And then in the Thor movie, this scene unfolds. Here it is. Odinson, my heir, my firstborn, so long entrusted with the mighty hammer Mjolnir, forged in the heart of a dying star, its power has no equal as a weapon to destroy or as a tool to build. He said something that I could work with. What did he say? He said, forged in the heart of a dying star. Well, I'm an astrophysicist. We, we know how to kill stars, okay? So, so, so I said, let me find out what kind of dying stars the, the hammer could be made of. Somebody did make a quick list. Dying star densities, okay? So, I'm, So I realize it's, you don't know what a thimble is anymore. It's a thumb you put over your thumb and you push needles through clothing when you sew. But because everyone can get any item of clothing at, at Walmart for $9, no one sews anymore, okay? But it's something to protect your thumb. It's about one cubic centimeter in volume. So a density would be how much mass do you cram into a volume. For this exercise, it's mass per thimble. So here we go, you ready? So the sun will die as a white dwarf, what we call a white dwarf star, and its material, it'll cram one ton of matter into a thimble. That's pretty dense. If you made a uh, made Mjolnir, the name of Thor's hammer, out of that, that'd be pretty heavy. Except this is astrophysics, and we do better than this, okay? <laughs> There's a neutron star, this is the this is the remnant of a supernova, and here we go. A trillion tons of matter fit into a thimble. That's heavy, okay? So I said, let me create a, a Thor's hammer out of neutron star matter, because that is the heart of a dying star. So I did this, did the calculation, and then tweeted it. Here it is. If Thor's hammer is made of neutron star matter, implied by legend, then it weighs as much as a herd of 30 billion elephants. <laughs> that's legitimately heavy, I would say. And that's why in one of the movies, um, who's the one with the green muscles? Hulk couldn't even pick up the hammer, remember that? <laughs> Hulk came up to me, tried, this is the Hulk. Tried to pick it up, couldn't budge it. I'm figuring, there you go. Now, I have to know what the right volume of the hammer is, so I borrowed Thor's hammer. Um, <laughs> Thor was kind enough to lend me real gear so I could make the proper measurements. That's my hand holding the hammer for this exercise. Okay, now, I admit this was a geeky thing to do, <laughs> but the geekosphere knows no limits. <laughs> So here I am, strutting proudly of my calculation, and but no, there are those geekier than I am. Sorry, Tyson, but you're wrong about Thor's hammer. The critical mistake Tyson makes is thinking that Mjolnir was forged of the core of a dying star, when it was actually forged in the core of a dying star, says Suveen Mathaldu, a program manager in the material science division of the U.S. Army Research Office. This tax money put to good work here, right? All right. And he's adjunct professor at North Carolina State, diehard comic enthusiast. It's well documented that the hammer is made out of Uru, a fictional metal from Thor's native realm, Asgard. 
Marvel, which publishes the Thor comics, issued a Thor's Hammer trading card in 1991. It states that Mjolnir is made out of Wuru and weighs precisely 42.3 pounds. <laughs> I mean, I, I concede. Even though I thought my answer was way better. But I will concede. Cause the, and that's the dude up there, with, he's got the Captain America thing. And that's a, a partner in Matt Shipman there. So, I, I stand corrected.